Hello, Sagittarius. This is the Pretty Coach Oracles here, and I'm coming to do your general reading for May 2020. Okay, I'm going to hop on into these messages. All right. So right here we have as an overall energy really for all 12 zodiac signs is the card of death, which is most notably connected to the sign of Scorpio. This is a card of endings and new beginnings here. OK, a, a card of transformation, major changes in one's life cycles ending and new ones beginning. This also um, is connected possibly to the eighth house, which is also, like I said, the, this is um, the house in the astrological charts that is connected to life and death, okay? Um, rebirth and death or birth and rebirth, whatever the case may be, life to life, okay? I don't know why, but that's the first time I've ever explained that that way. Okay. Um, the sign of Scorpio also deals with the issues of the mind. It doesn't have to be negative issues, but it's just deep diving, going deep. Okay. Um, that's what Scorpio tends to deal with here. So that's going to be the sign that's literally overshadowing and kind of the energies that are surrounding all the readings for all 12 signs. Okay. All right. So let's hop into the, the information that specifically for you, those, um, not Scorpio, but Sagittarius. Okay. So you have the world card here. Okay. This is an energy of traveling. Also of just graduation leveling up. Okay. I feel like you guys have passed some type of test as it pertains to maybe, uh, personal growth, spiritual matters or whatever, even love in every aspect. There's something that you have achieved at this point. Okay. Um, you guys could literally be getting ready to travel the world or at least travel to another place. We'll clarify after that. We'll clarify in a moment. I mean, but we do have uh, associated with these, with this card, the signs of Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio, all the fixed signs. Okay. I'm hearing that there's some type of achievement at work as well here. Okay. Last but not least, not what am I talking about? It's not last but not least. This is the second card. Okay, we also have the Four of Wands here, which also tends to influence my first card. So there could be some type of major achievement, some type of major goal that you may have accomplished when it comes to a companionship or a commitment, a committed relationship, a marriage even, or bare minimum cohabitation, living together. Okay. This is a major milestone, a monumental milestone. Some of you guys could be getting married, literally, okay? Um, la now, this is the last card. Page of Wands is an energy of messages that are coming in or just kind of maybe like new things that you're starting, new creative endeavors that you're starting. You may not have necessarily worked out all the kinks, but you are like inspired, okay? For others, I feel like this could be someone dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We're going to go into this some more. I want to start with the world card. So Spirit, give it to us straight. No chaser. Uh-oh, sorry about that, Sagittarius. The card denoting what reading I'm on fell, but I'm going to take it down from there and I'm going to move it to over here. You might not be able to see it, but y'all know what y'all's reading now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that there. Spirit, what's going on here for the sign of Sagittarius with the world card? Y'all can't see it, but it's okay. I'll hold up all the cards. Spirit, what's going on with the world card? I, I would recommend that all signs do watch the rest of the readings for the other 12 zodiacs because somehow messages may resonate with you from all the other signs. I'm saying that right now though because um for the sign of Aquarius the the world card came out in their reading as well and I do feel like a lot of fire sign energy came out too. All right, so we have with the world card we have the 3 of wands and we have the hermit card coming out right now. So Sagittarius, some of you guys, um, I feel like some of you guys may be going within, doing a lot of soul searching. You guys may have experienced a dark night of the soul in regards to this like energy or this connection or something like that. 
for some of you, you guys have gone within and you're figuring out what you want to do when it comes to maybe work or your business somehow. For others of you, you could be waiting or expecting something. You could have hope of something more. And that's why you have gone in. You could have closed yourself off or you could literally be considering closing yourself off from others at this time. You could just be spending a lot of time alone but for the purpose of soul searching. Here's another card that just came out. We have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this could have been slowly, steadily coming, okay? Or this could have been a long time coming, this energy that you've been in of reflection, I think. You could be reflecting on what it is that you want. Woo. We have the Page of Cups. Some of you guys could finally be tapping into your own feelings, your own emotions, okay? This could also have something to do with some of you guys' as children, if you are a Sagittarius with children. They could be somehow helping you to kind of talk through or work through your feelings. This also could be a new, like, love coming in a budding love or uh, emotions that are coming up slowly. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo with the Hermit card and the Knight of Pentacles showing up. Also Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Spirit, is there anything more with this? Some of you guys could literally be finally tapping into your spiritual powers and your spiritual gifts I also get with the Page of Cups. You could be researching more spiritual matters. We have the Ten of Wands here. I feel like some of you guys could have, uh, you completed something. Some of you guys could have been working really, really hard, whether at a job or even with a relationship. And now you've come to your end. It's time for you to move on. You're tired of carrying a load maybe by yourself or putting in a lot of work or taking on more responsibility than maybe another person. If that's not the case, you guys are very, very hardworking and this is part of why you have achieved so much, okay? Take it how it resonates. Spirit, what's going on here with this message? What's going on here with this page of wands energy? Okay. We have the nine of swords. So this is something that you have some anxiety about. OK, this is also something that you feel uh, somebody could be having secrets or hiding or something like that. And we have the six of pentacles. I, I, I feel like you feel that a person could be giving to you and another person. I feel that you feel that maybe another person could. OK, I'm also hearing right now that you could be having dreams. You could be having dreams about someone that you care about. having like love for someone else, okay? You could be an older woman and this person has love for a younger woman. Two, not saying that they don't have love for you, but it's just possible. You may worry. You may worry that the love that you have is not being reciprocated as well with the Six of Pentacles. And the Moon card here, I feel like you could be thinking that someone could be communicating with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The moon deals with the sign of Cancer. That nine of swords is uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but that's all about worry and anxiety. Or if it's not worry and anxiety, this could also have something to do with the fact that you could be having a whole lot of thoughts about maybe some type of business opportunity that you want to um, take hold of or that you yourself want to offer. And there could be some things that that are just blurred from that are just obscured from you right now. You can't see clearly. You may not this could be foggy, okay? Spirit, please give me some more about this page of wands energy. Make it very very clear what these messages are about. That's too many cards. I'm not going to take all of those. I'm just going to show you guys these this card, but this is the Six of Cups showing itself again. This also showed up in the Aquarius reading. Somebody could be uh, secretly dreaming or thinking about a soulmate or an ex here, okay? And this could be something that you are concerned about or worried about. I feel like you may be aware that the person that you are dealing with, if you are in a relationship or a commitment or what have you, could be getting ready to reach back out to an ex. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look, it just flew out. It literally flew out into my hand, into my bosom, into my chest. 
the six of cups. This is something that I feel like maybe energetically you can feel that someone that you care about is about to reach out to someone else from their past, okay? Or if that's not the case, someone could have recently reached out to you, Sagittarius, from your past. It could be an ex. It doesn't have to be, but it could be someone that you've had feelings for, someone that you grew up with as a child, or at least that you went to school or something with. Doesn't matter which level, but it's just someone from your past that you feel love for, comfortable with, all that kind of stuff. Spirit, is there any more? Okay, the cards that have shown up are the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like I, I believe that you're going to allow the emotions or the love that you have to cause you to move really quickly and to take action here. For some of you guys, Sagittarius, you guys could be having arguments maybe that are a little harsh with the woman or man that you love with the Queen of Cups here. Or there could be a mother figure or just a woman or something like that who could be being somewhat a little manipulative here. A grandmother maybe for some of you guys. I also feel like because the Knight of Swords isn't just about arguing, it could also be about taking really quick action, sudden action. You could have gotten a new thought, a new perspective, and now somebody's moving quickly. Probably towards someone that they love and care for a great deal. Now, three cards did fall out. I'm going to look at all three of them. Oh, yeah. Two of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Emperor. Some of you guys could literally be dealing with uh, a person who has Aquarius. I'm literally hearing a Venus in Aquarius. They could be an, a Taurus or an Aries with the Emperor card. Fire sign here, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius with the Two of Wands. I feel like you know that somebody was at a crossroads, honey. You could tell that someone's at a crossroads. I feel as though this person may have already made up their mind and they are quickly going to be approaching a woman that they care about. Sagittarius, I feel like you feel this, you know this energetically. If you guys have not talked about this, you are having dreams, okay? Or whatever way the spirit tends to deal with you. Why is the four of wands here for the sign of Sagittarius? What's going on with the four of wands? What's going on with the four of wands here? What's going on in this marriage? What's going on? It don't seem like it's too good. It seems like some stuff is changing. I see the page of swords and the four of cups. I feel like somebody could be watching another person from a distance. Or this could be a managerial position. Or you could be just trying to really... Either it's your energy, Sagittarius, or it's someone's energy towards you. Somebody could be just kind of like watching over you. um, Kind of being overbearing a little bit. And it's really because they're dissatisfied possibly in the connection. If this is about love and the this is about a marriage and a commitment. So if that's the case, somebody is really dissatisfied. They're not really okay. So this person may not be okay with themselves, okay? And they could be making your life miserable right now, Sagittarius. Because they're really looking for something else. The Queen of Pentacles is coming out again. Sign of Virgo showing up here. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces with the Cups. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, this page of Swords could be a whole conversation. Like, somebody could literally say, I'm unhappy in this marriage. I'm unhappy with you as a wife. I'm unhappy with you. I'm not satisfied. Or this could be your energy, and this is what you're telling your spouse. Yeah, we got the temperance card here. So I do feel like Sagittarius, this could be more so your energy. The temperance card is a card of patience. I feel like there could be a conversation about, look, I've been patient with you. I've worked really hard with you. I've tried my best to be understanding. I've tried to do everything that I could, uh, th that I knew a good wife should. Take care of the home, take care of you, take care of myself. And it seems like it's still not good enough. Spirit, please give me some more insight about this. Yeah, man, we got the Ace of Swords, I mean, the Ace of Wands flying out first, and then the Ten of Pentacles. I feel as though something is happening, Sagittarius. There's a new opportunity that's going to be very lucrative for you, okay? Whether it's an inheritance, whether you win some type of case when it comes to litigation, because the King of Swords was up here, okay? 
this is six cards that have helped to clarify. I feel like you're going to win. If there's a case here, Sagittarius, you're going to win. And the money and stuff that you win is going to set you up to be able to move on and start anew and start fresh. Okay. Some of you guys could move on with a fellow fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Wow, wow, wow. Spirit, what's at the... At the bottom of the deck, there's the five of wands. There's a lot of competition maybe here. Maybe a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting at this time, okay? Also, I'm hearing about imitation. Some people just going through the motions in a marriage and in a commitment. That's not okay. Spirit, is there anything more? Yeah, we are seeing the Ten of Swords. I really feel like something is over, Sagittarius, for some of you guys. If you were, in fact, married or something like that, I feel like you can feel that this marriage is over, okay? And I think in the in the meantime, and I hate to say it like this, I feel like you are trying to get your money. You're trying to get your money's worth from this for some of you guys. That may not be everybody, but some of y'all might be doing, you might be doing some things in order to ensure that when you end this connection or if this person leaves you or they end this connection, that you're set financially, or at least that you get a little bit of a little bit of money for the time that you put in with this person. Yeah, Queen of Wands energy at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy here, or also um, Sagittarius or Aries. That could be you showing up in the reading or the other air, uh, or the other fire sign that that maybe your person could be thinking about or dealing with. The judgment card for me is a card of an appointed time. Um, I feel like there is a judgment that has come against you guys. And when I say against, I don't mean like against or, or like in a bad way. I just mean there's a judgment that's come up in the ethers and all this that's happening, okay? It's meant to happen. It's an appointed time. It's written in the stars. There's no way around this. Also, I feel like uh, Sagittarius, you yourself, you've made a decision. You've made a decision to take some form of action. Maybe that action is to go ahead and move on. Here, what is the judgment card here for before I move on? Why is the judgment card here for the sign of Sagittarius? Let's make this card for these next cards. This, yep. Leo energy, strength energy. Okay. So I feel like just like Aquarius, you are learning whatever lessons you need to. I feel like your confidence has blossomed. It's blooming. Um, I feel like you are going to be true to yourself here at this point. New romance could have come into your life. And this could be the reason that you are able to kind of um, walk away from a connection that maybe would have been harder for you in times past. For others of you, Sagittarius, I definitely feel like there is a Leo that is somehow heavily um, involved in your energy, okay? Whether it's for you or like I said, I do feel like a person that you're connected to could also be dealing with a Leo. Also, the person could have Virgo in their chart. Like they could be a Leo sun, Virgo rising type energy. But most importantly, as it pertains to you, Sagittarius, I feel like this is the energy of you taking power back. This is the energy of you knowing your strengths. Whatever weaknesses may have been shown in this connection, I feel like you've grown. I also hope and pray that you'll be listening to your higher self and allowing your higher self to dictate what the lower self does. Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we have the page of wands. The page of wands. This is more so, this is this is just an inspiring message. If it's not about an inspiring message, you know for a fact that somebody that you are think you could be dealing with a younger fire sign energy or communicating with a younger fire sign energy, or there's a new opportunity coming, you guys. But I feel like this is about a younger person. This could be someone's child, or this could be a younger woman or man that your other person was dealing with. This is also someone who could have been asked to leave the home uh, or who could have been struggling financially at one point in time or who could have literally um, moved out because of family issues, home issues. Hmm. Yeah, there was a third party situation that some of you guys were a part of, Sagittarius. And there was a breakup. More than likely with this younger female who's a Leo. Somebody was indecisive. Someone did not know exactly what to do. So they kind of didn't make a choice. Or maybe they knew what choice they wanted to make, but they were keeping it from the both of you guys. 
the king of cups i'm seeing and the five of swords and the star card this is so like oh my god yeah this person i feel like sagittarius if this is for some of you guys this is going to resonate i feel like you guys know that the person that you were dealing with the male in your life that they are in love with someone else okay that you also may be aware of that you may have also known and i feel like you could tell that this relationship with you and this person has run its course and you can already sense and feel this. Like I said, you could have been having dreams and visions about it, okay? With that being said, Sagittarius, this is the end of your reading. I hope and pray something resonated with you, okay? Um, if you'd like to have a private reading because some of this did make sense, then you can book your private reading at theprettycoachoracles.com. Peace, love, light, and darkness. Working to bring balance and harmony first within ourselves and then within our world. It's been my pleasure, Sagittari Sagittarius. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.